Yeah, the really funny thing is that it's Hyperion that makes those respawn stations. So that's ironic, isn't it? So we killed even the badasses still here. So the badasses, usually I think the bodies of badass enemies stay over there. I'm not going to go up there again. I'm not going to make the same mistake. I'm a smart boy. I know what, what I did wrong. Here, have a, have a decoy. Now you can go gather your parts around this area. There we go. Oh god. If you can kill these XP loaders before they explode, you actually get more experience as well. Also need to be careful that I still have enough ammo by the time this ends, because uh, yeah, we need to fight the warden at the end here. God damn it. There we go. There we go. So as long as I can... There we go. Take out these guys like that. I'm gonna throw a grenade to take care of the uh, XP loaders. I don't think that grenade land... Oh, it did land next to me. Seemed like all normal loaders. And then... Yeah, there's more of those flying things. There it goes. Sniper rifle is of course gonna come in the most handy, so I'm gonna go with the pistol for now. So those are repair bolts, so they actually uh, repair, try to repair broken bolts, which is why we need to take them out first. Oh, that guy's not down yet. I think I'm gonna go with a grenade. Maybe two. It says a lot of them, and I don't take that much damage from the grenades anymore. Wow. Just wow. Just gonna take the last one out. Okay, the last ones. By shooting off their arm parts. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna have to go out. Because he threw a grenade. There we go. Whew. And that's it. That's the first onslaught of loader bolts. Get used to that, because that's uh, what's going to continuously happen. I'm just going to gather a bit more ammo before we head into the Warden fight. So, the Warden fight is a classic boss fight, in the sense that it has multiple stages. Ooh, Iridium. Iridium! Um, but we're going to have... Yeah, okay, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Because I'm not sure I'm going to be getting out of your life. So let's start with shock damage, because it has a shield. So. Yes, I know, Roland, stop yelling at me. Oh god, yeah. That's not good, but it has created the loading for me here. To take out. So there goes the shield. And then we need to get... I think I'm gonna get the sniper rifle out to just... Because it's completely stationary right now. There we go. There we go. Taken out. That's why shock weapons are important. Because the bosses have incredibly high-powered shields. But this is not over yet. Because now that Rome is on our side. We need to fight these guys off even further. There we go. I blow him up. I think this guy's still alive. There we go. I can actually heal up inside of Roland's turret, I think, or not. There we go. Yeah, it is doing healing damage. So if we stay close, we actually get some uh, healing from that as well. So the XP load is to weaken us a bit. And badass loading means we need to go to the sniper rifle. And shoot off it. It's guns, but I can't really reach the guns from here. And as you can see, the loaders actually use guns sometimes as well, so the normal guns. I'm just gonna throw a, gr a few grenades down there. There we go. That sounds about right. Holy shit. Yeah. Still love those grenades, even though they're starting to get uh, 
more useless the further we're getting. Um, and that's the damn fine rescue mission. <laughs> so that's uh, that's that. So let's turn that in with Roland. So you rescued Roland from Hyperion. Now it's time for the customary. Thanks for rescuing me from those bad guys. Now let's talk about how we're going to put a bullet in Jack's face conversation back in Sanctuary. Thanks. I'd be dead if it weren't for you. I owe you one, soldier. There we go. And that's four Iridium for Maybe us back as well. Sanctuary. I got a plan to stop Jack. But it won't work without you. I don't know who you're looking at, you Roland, but... Roland. Bye. This planet's been waiting for a hero like you. Thank goodness Jack didn't send Wilhelm. Which is weird, right? If Wilhelm is the most powerful thing that he has... Ooh, look at that. What is this? Ooh, a sticky lobbed corrosive grenade. So that's our first purple. Which would probably be a legendary instead of the exotics that we're currently using. So sticky lob corrosive grenade. 525 grenade damage and 113 corrode damage per second. Which is gonna come in handy against the um well the loaders if we're starting to fight them more and more. I'm not gonna equip it just yet, because my current grenade is actually better against the well the general population. <gasps> And I think, if I recall correctly, you can actually sacrifice guns in here to get something else. I'm not sure. It's been a while, but I think it works like that. So if I just... I toss that in, and then I push push the button, I sacrifice the gun, like that. Well, I gave you a gun. You gotta give me something to work with. So it's not working anymore now. Don't know if I if I can actually throw in more guns because there's a few guns around here. Um, I can actually just pick all of this up and try to lob that in there, but that's mostly going in there. If I now sacrifice, no, no, it doesn't sacrifice anything. I think you need to actually drop higher level stuff in there, and then it works. But yeah, I don't really care about that stuff anyway, so let's just leave it there. And let's get back to Sanctuary, because I think there's one surveyor drone still running around. There we go, we're back in Sanctuary, we can talk to Ron. There's a few new extra side quests that have opened up. But uh, let's talk to Ron first and check out the gun uh, stores. Nothing here. Hi, Roland. How did those snag you anyway? Oh, I was taking a leak. One of them knocked me out. Wow, you are a dumbass. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> Total dumbass. I was joking, dude. I'm happy to see you. Oh, uh, thanks. This is where you say you're happy to see me, too? Oh, uh, right. I, uh, it's good to see you. <laughs> Smooth. So I don't think I need to explain what's going on here, right? It's kind of obvious. Handsome Jack is going to kill us all unless you can stop him. You talking to me? He means hi. That's his way of saying hi. Right. Sorry. Hi. Look, I'll be honest, soldier. We're losing this war. We've been trying to stop Jack for years, taking out his men, raiding his iridium mines, but it hasn't been enough. But you, you met Jack and lived. You fought off the Rippers and the Bloodshots. Saved my ass and Lilith's. Thanks, by the way. If we're going to survive this, we need your help, Vault Hunter. Now, we thought Jack wanted to open a vault and use its power to wipe us off Pandora, but thanks to some intel I stole from a Hyperion convoy, I found out we were wrong. What? He's not gonna open a vault. He's going to control it. I'll just go ahead and repeat myself. What? The vault Jack's looking for isn't an alien prison or a cache of weapons. It's a living thing. An ancient Iridian warrior, powerful enough to destroy all life on Pandora. Whoever awakens it, gets to control it. That sounds bad. If Jack wakes the warrior, yeah. But if we control the warrior first... We could use it to wipe Hyperion off the map. Alright, I'm liking this plan. There's a problem. We need the vault key to wake the warrior and Jack's already got it. But if you've spoken to Tennis... She didn't vomit when she saw you, did she? She does that sometimes. She might have told you the key needs to be charged with Iridium. We're racing against time. Every ounce of that stuff that Jack mines from the ground puts him closer to taking control of that warrior and wiping us out. We gotta get our hands on that vault key. Now, if anybody knows where that key's being kept, it's my spy out in Tundra Express. He's as good at gathering intel as he is at drinking. 
so I'm sure he's sleeping off last night's booze right now. You'll need to get a fire weapon to wake him up. I'll explain when you get out there. There we go. We need a fire weapon to wake Ronan Spy up in Tundra Express, which is uh, where we're going to be heading next. But first, we need to catch... Have a fire weapon? Marcus might sell him. Okay, thank you, Ronan. <gasps> we're going to go through Sanctuary again to check out a few side quests. First up is Patricia Tannis. We helped her out with the Iridium weapons last time. Well, she helped I'm us out. Sorry to say, I need your assistance. But this mission has it all. Violence and pizza. A group of mutant test subjects escaped the Hyperion Preserve. As amusing as it might be to see them attempt to reintegrate into society, they must be put down. You will need a way to lure them out. Head to Moxie's and acquire some bait I have ordered. So the Hyperion Reserve is actually an area we're going to be coming to next. Um, well, rather oh. soon after the Tundra Express, I think. Which is why I'm going to pick, be picking up that pizza right now. And while we're passing by Earl, we're going to buy some stuff from him as well. Get out of my face. So we're going to increase the backpack space we have with 8 iridium. Yes, there we go. And we could do that again by 3 if we want to for 12 iridium. But I'm going to wait with that. So aside from that, I want to upgrade our grenade space. That's 8 again and we need 4 for something else. So grenade space and pistol ammo. And it also increases that by 100. There we go. We got the trophy for buying a lot of stuff from uh, Earl, better than money. And now we can actually store 300 pistol bullets instead of 200, which is a, a nice upgrade, by the way. Then we can talk to Moxie. I don't have any work, but no, don't have wait, where's the pizza? Ah, there's the pizza. We need to get it from Moxie. There we go. Good. The escapees, for whatever reason, find pizza irresistible. You will lure them out with this pizza, then murder them. Okay, thank you, Patricia. Gonna, gonna gamble a bit again. That's a grenade, isn't it? Yeah, that's another grenade. Crimson Raider, watch out! There we go. Let's pull that again. I'm gonna do that three more times. Oh, two more times. Ooh, that was almost Iridium. And we need to pick up whatever comes out of that, so... Don't really have a choice there. Might be able to sell the guns. That's another... No. Okay, that's just money. That's just money. And last time... What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Crap. Let's do that again. I'm, I'm not addicted. Definitely not addicted. What do... Oh, that's just money and nothing. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Let's talk to Hammerlock. Hello. Things need to be shot and by Jove, you're the one to shoot them. Thank you, Mighty Morphing. All living things are beautiful, even the disgusting ones. Have you heard of these insect things called Varkins? Allegedly, the buggers, that's a pun, you'll see, will morph if they take enough damage. Could you take this evolutionary injector? Oh, we need to grab that. So, evolutionary injector. Lovely. I'd like you to force a few Varkids into morphing. While they're in their cocoon state, hit them with the injector. Okay, so uh, we need to find a Varkid and inject it with this stuff when they're in their cocoon state. Which sounds, sounds fine, right? Sounds, sounds fine. We don't know what a Vark it is just yet, but you'll see, they're, they're actually really, really gross. So I actually bought the blue shield from the vending machine over here, because it gives us a lot more capacity, and it also gives us a Nova, so... I think that's gonna be fine. It's smaller than the ones we have, the Nova is gonna be less large, but the Nova damage is higher, and... Yeah, if it... I mean... We do recharge rather quickly. Uh, it's only it's double the recharge delay, so it's going to take a while for the shields to come back. But if with the uh, with the invisibility, we can actually circumvent that a bit. It's better to have more shields than uh, than anything else. Just going to check out Marcus's inventory right here. So let's shop with him. Seems to be nothing as well. And just going to sell him our old shields. There we go. Should be fine. So now we can actually head towards the Tundra Express. Uh, so I'm gonna have to swap out my quests. Ever faked your own death? And there's actually a little side Just quest in for it as well. Ended a couple years back to throw Hyperion off my trail, but apparently some bandit's been spying on me. He's gonna tell Hyperion what he knows, unless you take him out first. So there we go. Lilith, uh, well, faked her death, so Hyperion still doesn't know that Lilith is still alive. Uh, but one of their spies actually found out. So we're gonna have to find that bandit, Bull, and kill him. So Bull is back in Three Horns Divide, so we're still in the back in the frosty area. 
And there's this little upper area that is, I think it's actually named as well. Ooh, wow. And he's living with a bunch of snow skags. So I'm just going to take those out. Look at that. He's a... Uh, He's uh, what what they call a rat. So I'm actually gonna try and get the sniper shoulderman from here. There we go. I think the Nova might actually kill him. There we go. So the cactus is annoying, but we can't really do anything against that. There we go. Skag in the face. Skag in the face. So yeah, Skags, we saw those before, and Bull actually dropped something. So let's get that from Hyperion Vice President Jeffrey Blake regarding the whereabouts of the fugitive Lilith. Mr. Bull, we at Hyperion are skeptical. The bandit Lilith was confirmed dead after the liberation of New Haven. We will need to listen to your footage before payment can be processed. Leave the echoes in the attached dead drop locations. Find those echoes, killer. If Hyperion finds out I'm alive and working with the Crimson Raiders, it could be New Haven all over again. There we go. They would want to wipe out Sanctuary immediately to get the Lilith. Uh, y is actually important later on. Because they don't actually want to kill her. They just want to have her. Because uh, we know Lilith is a siren, and there are only a few sirens on the planet at any certain time. And Jack already told us in one of his previous audio diaries that he knows most of their locations. Oh, I think you died. There we go. Where is that audio diary? That echo recording. Must be here somewhere. Probably hidden in one of the containers. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm blind. It's on the anchor. I like this place. Hyperion shouldn't be able to find you here. Thanks. I tried to make it very... Gruesome? I was gonna say cozy. You've strapped charred bandit corpses around the entrance. Corpses can be cozy. Kinda like our place in New Haven before... Um... Yeah, I'm going now. <sighs> so you wanna kill it? So there we go. That was the first echo. I need to go in here, I think, for the next one. Uh, well, it's actually on the left. So, while I'm being pelted by every living creature in existence, it's supposed to be over here somewhere. If it's in another, another anchor, I'm gonna kill myself. Die, you rack! There we go. Nope, that's the wrong button again. I pressed the switch position button again. Okay, let's take a look. So, God on top of the pipes is just a good... Plan. There we go. There it is. So what's the emergency? I liquefied a guy. Come again? I was out hunting and I found some of that iridium stuff and one of those weird worshipper guys sees me and I chase him down and grab him and he just... Liquefied? It was awesome. I don't know if it's because of the vault opening or being a siren or both, but this iridium stuff is the tits. You look really pale. Yeah, I passed out a few times, but this could be huge! Okay, but why not just send an echo? Why call me out here and increase the risk of Hyperion finding out you're still working with the Crimson Raiders? Uh, uh, um... Because you... How are you doing? I think I'm gonna leave now. Okay. Aww, poor Lilith. So, I think I was I was at the correct place, so I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, what an idiot. Let's just go find that second recording. Because that was apparently the third. And then the final one is supposed to be around here somewhere. And I think it might be inside one of the... The skags. Don't you go running away. I know you can barf at me, but that's another way to treat... The guests. You know? The kind of guests that shoot you in the face. There we go. You can actually... Whew, use the geyser. And the geyser kicked out the second echo. Jack just left him for dead in the snow, evidently. The raiders could use the help. You should track them down. Another vault hunter, huh? I'll see if I can contact him by echo on my way back to Sanctuary. Good. You can go now. Well, I'm sorry. I just got here. I'm a little busy waging a one-woman war on every bandit in the tundra, so you can focus on taking down Jack. But hey, if you want to hang out, I can just give up this Firehawk thing and let the bloodshots overrun Sanctuary. Uh, no, no, uh, you're, you're right. Of course. Are you sure? 
I could make Coco. We could talk about boys. I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just talk to you once I find the Vault Hunter. Yeah. I'm sorry for... Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Play hard to get. That's how you do it. I uh, don't think that's how you do it, Lilith. Because uh, Lilith is a bit awkward in the dating scene as well. Sorry, sorry, psychos. Sorry, psychos. Uh, let's get back to Sanctuary. That last echo also actually told us how uh, Roland and the rest of the Resistance knew about us. So they heard over the echo that uh, Jack blew up a few Vault Hunters and left them for dead in the snow, but that they actually survived through Claptrap. So uh, that's how they got into contact with us. But yeah, a little bit of the backstory between the awkward non-answered unanswered romance between uh, Lilith and Roland which is actually a bit tragic of course but they uh, don't see what's right in front of them but let's talk to Lilith and complete the in memoriam side quests there we go with the peeping Tom dead and his footage destroyed Hyperion remains clueless about Lilith's location thanks the less Hyperion knows about me the better you didn't uh, listen to those echoes right no, of course we didn't, Lilith. Don't worry about that. We all we don't know anything about that stumbling romance with Roland you have going on. So, picked up those few side quests from Ellie, and that means we have a few things to do. We can, first and foremost, actually use the runner to destroy some vehicles and get those ornaments that Ellie wants. So the bandits actually made hood ornaments that look like Ellie, and she's not happy with it. So let's just blow a few of them up. There we go. So there we go. That's the first indication that Mad Moxie is actually Ali's mother. So there we go, more revelations about Ellie and her familial situation. So uh, she's the daughter of Mad Moxie and I think Scooter is supposed to be her cousin, which is weird that she would uh, think that they're related somehow. That is really, really weird. So now we need to ramp into the Buzzard Cap. It's one of the most difficult uh, Jump. So we're doing two side quests at the same time, by the way. We're gathering those uh, ornaments for Ellie. And now we have the two clothes for missiles quest as well. So, going up here. Boosting all the way up the top. You can actually jump into the buzzard cap. There we go. Camp, you really are a cowboy. Now snag those volleyballs and get some jet fuel. So yeah, snag those volleyballs. It's a really silly, silly mission. Because you need to destroy their volleyball and their volleyball nets. There we go. And there we have a midget Goliath. I'm actually going to try and see if that actually works. Is he going to go for me? No, he's going to go for the closest one. Come on, kill him. There we go. He leveled up to 13. Now I'm going to have to find new enemies for him. I'm going to try that actually. Because it's a, a, a really hard trophy. Okay, he killed him. Never mind. You suck, Mitchell. Go ah, they look horrifying. Because, yeah, the skull kind of pops out of their heads. Which is, which is really, 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 really gross. So, pick up volleyballs and shoot down buzzard pilots. We killed a few of them already. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We didn't even feel it. Well, you're going to feel this. There we go. By the way, if you're wondering what that blue glow is when Zero kills something with his, uh, his sword... It's actually a uh, big blue zero. No kidding. If you slow down the video, you'll see that really, really nicely there. Oh, come on. There we go. The shock pistol, I can take out those shields. Grenade for you guys. There we go. Good zero just likes his emojis. 
Because if you're actually able to look at him in third person, if you're with a co-op partner or something like that, you can actually see he's reacting to certain <laughs> situations with, uh, well, emoticons on his helmet, which is nice. Oh, and the last go, I kind of forgot about that, but never, never really talked about it. If you fire the last go at a wall, I think, you're actually making an animal, as you can see. Because the reason it's called the last go, because it's, it's named after the the caves with the cave paintings that depict those animals so as you can see it really has a specific spread and it always makes that animal and it's named after the same caves with the caves with the same name the lasco caves that also have those uh, animal drawings inside of the cave which is a really really nice detail which is also the reason why you find this thing in a cave but the mission the mission. So we need to get the uh, volleyballs and pick up gas cans and stuff like that. So it's a simple pick up mission. But yeah, the balls are a bit spread out. What was he firing at? There we go. There's a few critical hit spots on a buzzard. Like the engine says a critical hit spot. But they fire really slow rockets, so I'm not really worried about this. But they're corrosive. They need, they have armor, so. There we go. Wow, that was an explosion. So, Shulk is really good against shield as we, well, saw before. And just saw with that guy because he just popped like it was nothing. Ooh, a corrosive sniper rifle. Could have used that against uh, the buzzards, but skill point. It's level 15, which means we can finish up the Grim skill. And that opens up the next tree, which is where things start to get interesting. Follow through, kill skill. Killing an enemy increases your movement speed, melee damage, and gun damage for a few seconds, which is fine, I guess, but not incredibly uh, powerful. But execute melee override skill. While deception is active and a target is under your crosshairs, press R3 to dash forward a short distance and perform a special melee strike, dealing massive damage. So it's basically a lunge with your sword. And then backstab your melee attacks, deal additional damage when hitting an enemy in the back. Which is also nice when it starts to stack. So next skill is definitely going to be that override. Which is uh, going to turn our melee into a devastating dash. I think I have plenty of time to think about it, buddy. Because uh, I don't think there's anybody still alive anymore. There we go. Jumping, jumping around. And at the end of this, there's another a lovely weapon screen just taking care of the uh, the buzzards because they're really annoying. Ooh, blue stuff. Blue stuff. Rubberized Tesla. Ow. I don't need that just yet, but roid damage. I'm gonna take that just because it's a cool type of uh, shield. So those shields, the roid shields, actually give you extra melee damage when your shield is down. Which is fine, I guess. This is starting to annoy me, like, a lot. And there goes the other one. There we go. So final bit is on the edge of the camp right over here. I don't know why it's down. Because I need to be up here for the final bit. Just gonna grab that. Uh, there it is. Another volleyball. I will, I will, give me a second. Okay, what the hell was that? Somebody shot me in the back. Shotgun midgets. So there we go, with the gas cans we found. And light it with a fire gun. Okay, I don't think that that sends a message. Probably me killing half the population of this camp is gonna have sent a better message. Shirtless man. So, for some reason, this is the only quest that actually spawns these enemies. <laughs> the shirtless man. There we go. And there we go. Two close for missiles complete. Which is, uh, yeah, a little bit of a side quest in the dust. So, I'm gonna try and get my car back. 
Uh, although I don't think it's actually necessary. Yeah, there's a, a station right down here. Because otherwise this is going to be annoying because we're pretty far away from any other station. So going down and picking up another vehicle. Next time on Borderlands 2, we deliver some pizza. Is that marshmallows and staggered? I smell yummy. Come on.